Let's take our next question that is question number 22. As you can see this question belongs to again the section of heat and thermodynamics. The question says a rod of length L at room temperature and uniform area of cross section A is made of a metal having coefficient of linear expansion alpha. It is observed that an external force compressive nature F is applied on each of its N which prevents any change of length when the temperature rises by delta Tk. So we have to find the Young's modulus of the metal. So due to the temperature rise, the length of, let me first write the solution. So let's take this as our rod, right? Then force of F is being applied on it, right? And this length is L, right? Cross section area is A. So when we increase this temperature, the length should increase, right? And that length should be increase in length delta L should be equal to L naught alpha delta T. As we are well aware due to this equation L theta is equals to L naught 1 plus alpha delta theta, right? You are well aware of this equation. And due to this force, what will happen? Due to the compressive nature, delta L compressive will be equal to F into L by A into Y. Why this formula? As we are aware, Y is equals to F by A stress by linear strain here or longitudinal strain, right? Now with this formula, this would be expanding length, this would be compressive length. And as per the question, the length should not change when we increase the temperature. That means both the values should be equal and compensate each other. So by magnitude, both delta L should be same. So I will write L naught alpha delta T is equals to F L naught by AY. Solving this L naught and L naught will be cancelled. Y will be F upon A alpha delta T. Let's see which is the best suited answer for this. So Y would be equals to F upon A alpha delta T option number 2. Right? Hope you have understood this one. Let's move ahead and see our next question. Now in this question number 23, there are three charges plus Q, small q and plus Q are placed respectively at distance of 0, d by 2 and d from the origin on x axis. If the net force experienced by plus Q placed at x is equal to 0 is 0, then the value of Q is. So before going to solution, let's see the diagram of this case. Now let's suppose that there's a line and there's a charge plus Q here and there's a charge plus Q here and there's a charge exactly in the middle small q. This is 0, this is d and this is so this distance would be d by 2. In order to make the net force on this charge 0, what is required? It is the ask of this question. So let's on understand, let's first understand that what are the forces which are being applied on this charge. So if this is charge 1 and this is charge 2, the very first thing plus Q and plus Q, it is surely given in the question. So force due to this plus Q charge will be along this direction. Now what would be the value of F2? That's a different matter. In order to cancel this force and to keep this force at net equilibrium, the force due to this charge should be in this direction. That means the nature of this charge should be negative. Then only it can attract this charge and compensate this force F2, the repulsive force by capital Q charge. So if you just write down the values, you will get F1 would be equal to K capital Q small Q upon D by 2 whole square. When you talk about F2, it would be K capital Q capital Q upon D square, right? And both the forces should be equal in magnitude. So saying that F1 is equals to F2 K capital Q small Q upon D square. This 4 will go up. This should be K capital Q square upon D square. Thus, you will get Q is equals to capital Q by 4 in magnitude. And what should be the charge of that? It should be basically negative in order to make the force F1 as attractive in nature. 
let's see which is the best suited option so as per the available options answer 3 is the best suited option for this question right let's move ahead and see our next question so this question belongs to mechanics section the question says an L-shaped object made of thin rods of uniform mass density is suspended with a string as shown in the figure where AB is equals to BC. The angle made by AB with downward vertical is theta. We have to find the value of theta. Now, In order to understand this, the most important thing is that the hanging portion will lie straightly or connect it to center of mass of the system. So most important is to find the center of mass first. Let's see. Let's have a basic rough diagram for same. So this being the hanging and uh, suppose this makes an angle like this. This will be the rod, right? And so making an angle, this 90 degree, right? Now this section is hanging like this and with vertical or like this, it is making an angle. So the center of mass of this system will lie exactly on this angle bisector because this being 90 degree this will be 45 degree clearly let's take this as l and this as l as well so let's consider this be the center of mass of the system right now being a symmetrical system the center of mass will lie on the angle bisector and this value we have to found first let's take this as x so in order to find the x the center of mass can be written as x center of mass is equals to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 upon m1 plus m2 right now the mass of this rod if suppose it's m it will be lying somewhere here so the coordinates of this point will be written as l by 2 root 2 comma l by 2 root 2 as this portion would be L by 2 and this angle is 45 degree on this axis of X and Y. Let's take this as X axis and this as Y axis. It's easy. So when you put the values, you will find X will be equal to L by 2 root 2 meters. Right. Now with this X, it's very easy to find the answer now. Because if you draw a perpendicular from here to here, right. So you will see in this perpendicular, so this value will be L by 4 as this is the base of the triangle, this is hypotenuse. So 45 degree we can find this is the base, this is the base and this perpendicular will also be L by 4 as this is a 45 degree, right? Now if this is L by 4, this segment will easily be 3 L by 4 as we are aware that the whole segment is of length L. And we know the perpendicular and we know this base of this triangle and this being 90 degree, it's easy to find this angle theta of the question. This theta can be simply perpendicular by base of this portion that is equals to L by 4 divided by 3 L by 4. Solving this, you will get tan theta is equals to L by 4 divided by 3 L by 4 that is equals to 1 by 3. So the relation we wanted to derive is this. Let's see which is the best suited option here. As per the given question, option number three is the best suited option for this one. Then let's move ahead to our next question. That is question number 25. 